Hi kids, I'm Miss Sue from the St. Mary's County Library. Welcome back to Storytime Sides. Today I'm going to tell you about this book. It's called Zonia's Rainforest. And then at the end, I'm going to show you how to make this butterfly. It's pretty easy. You probably have all the ingredients already at home. Put our butterfly right there. Okay. Zonia's Rainforest by Juana Martinez Neal. Every morning, Zonia greets her rainforest friends. She follows this little blue butterfly called a, a morph butterfly. Isn't that pretty? Through the forest and she greets all of her friends. She comes across some sloths and she counts them. One, two, three, four. She has lots of friends in the rainforest. She even rides a jaguar. I'm glad she's friends with the snake because I'm a little bit afraid of the snakes. But on her way home, she comes to a really scary sight. All of a sudden, she finds that a whole lot of the forest has been cut down and destroyed. She runs all the way home. She's really worried about it. She wants to know what happened to the forest. The forest needs help. The forest does need help. This is about a rainforest. It's a story, but it has a surprising ending. If you check it out, you can learn more about the rainforest. There are many tr um, threats to the Amazon rainforest. Rainforests are homes to many indigenous people and many, many, many animals, wild and plants. And the rainforest helps reduce more than 20% of the oxygen on our planet. That's something I learned. So you can check this out at our library. Sonia's Rainforest. Hi kids, back again with another book to tell you about. This one is called Natsumi's Song of Summer and it's by Robert Paul Weston and the pictures are by Misa Saburi. It's about these two little girls, Natsumi and her cousin Jill. They live, Natsumi lives in Japan, but Jill lives in America and she's gonna come and visit. Natsumi loves everything about summer. She especially loves the insects crawling, fluttering, buzzing, and chirping, but the best is the cicadas. It's summer when their chirping sound fills the air, and Natsumi's cousin Jill from America is coming to Japan to meet her. And there they are at the airport. And Jill says, show me everything, because she's never been to Japan. And so Natsumi does. She takes her to see fireworks and festivals, and they have so much fun together. Then, while she's showing her all the insects, Jill hears something and she says, what is that buzzing sound? Cicadas, is what Natsumi tells her. She explains how they are born every so many years and they stay underground and then they come out and it's her favorite insect. And this is another picture of some of the cicadas that they hear. This story is about friendship. It's a story about cicadas. And in fact, this year is the year of cicadas because we have cicadas coming out after 17 years right here in Maryland and other parts of the Eastern United States. So you wanna check out this book, Natsumi's Song of Summer, which is written in a series of tanka poems. And in a few minutes, I'm gonna tell you a few more facts about cicadas and I wrote a poem too. Maybe you'd like to write, write one. Hey kids, I'm back. I wanted to tell you a couple things about cicadas. Cicadas are insects with bulgy, wide set eyes and almost transparent, well-veined wings. They're only about one or two inches long and they are the loudest sounding insects in the world. There are around 2,500 species of cicadas. The cicadas that are coming out around here are called the brood X cicadas. That's just the name of the kind that they are. And cicadas only emerge from the ground to molt and shed and um, make new cicadas. Here's the poem I told you I was gonna read. Are you ready? Here we go. Cicada, cicada, so small and patient, crawls out of the ground, no longer complacent. 
17 years ready to stretch and scratch, leaving behind a shell now dispatched. He flies and climbs trees, hums for all to hear. His tune is heard loud and sincere. She hears his sound and soon flies down, then lays her eggs among the branches while listening still to his cicada strum, all made with tummy vibration to sound just like hums. The end is near. In July we hear to hide away for another 17 years. Hey kids, thanks for joining me today for Storytime Sides. Now that we have learned a few things about the rainforest, and we have learned a few things about cicadas, and we have a little craft that's gonna follow on how to make a butterfly, it reminded me that during the summer reading program, there's a whole bunch of challenges that you can do. And one of the challenges is to read or write your own poem. So you could go to our poetry section, which is 811, and maybe check out a book or two on poems and write your own poem. And hey, you know what? You just did a, you just watched me, and that's a library event, and that is also one of your challenges. So have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Hey kids, I have a really easy craft that you can do at home. All you need is some coffee filters, some pipe cleaners, or you could use a clothespin, some magic markers, and some water. My water's in a dropper, but you could just have a little cup of water and use your fingers to drop. So I already colored a few right here with my markers. And now I'm gonna drop some water on it. I just have a little plate underneath And that's going to make all the colors run together. And after you do this part, you'll need to let it dry. Sometimes it takes a couple hours, maybe overnight. I already have some finished. I did these two yesterday. And this is what we're going to do with it. I'm going to fold or crinkle this butterfly right down the center. It doesn't have to be fancy. I'm going to take this pipe cleaner, fold it in half, and I'm going to stick it right in the middle like that. Then I'm going to twist it. One, two, and then I'm going to bend these little antennas like this. And as you can see, we are making a butterfly. And there's our first butterfly. Easy peasy. Or maybe you want to use a clothespin. You could decorate it. You could color it right with those magic markers. And you can take your filter that you decorated and dropped water on. And you can stick a clothespin on it just like that. You can add some eyeballs if you want. You could add some antenna, and you have another butterfly. And that's an easy craft that you can do right at home.